The videos are brought to you also by the books that we make, and it's going to be a big year uh, in 2023 for the Cartoonist Kayfabe founders. Hip Hop Family Tree the Omnibus is coming out to you this year. 504 pages. Uh, this is all going to be gold. It's going to be real sexy. Uh, 504 pages with 140 pages of additional stuff that is not in the first four volumes of Hip Hop Family Tree. You guys have been supporting it in a big way. You grab it on Amazon right now, like you're getting a steep discount of about 28%. Uh, so support the project, keep things rocking for us. Red Room is going to begin in May with Crypto Killers number one. Your store is able to pre order these for you right now. Uh, jump on board, support the comic, Murder on the Dark Web for Fun and Profit. There are additional flavors of covers. There's Jimmy's Youngblood cover, Peach Momoko, I did a second variant, and the Red Room Crypto Killers uh, sketch cover is going to be available for you guys. Make sure you tag me in whatever you draw on there. Uh, four volumes, Hip Hop Family Tree out there. Three volumes, X-Men Grand Design. Uh, there are two volumes of Red Room and WYSIWYG. Jimmy, sooner than later, is going to have Street Angel Princess of Poverty trade paperback out in stores. It's going to collect all of the Street Angel comics that did not make it into Deadliest Girl Alive. You get both books. You have all of Jimmy's Street Angel materials up to this point. He also has drawn uh, Plain Janes. And the Hulk Grand Design comic is out there in the wild with a beautiful fluorescent green cover. You got to get it quick, man, because they are going fast. Every time we mention it, we sell a bunch more. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm doing it. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned uh, Fritz the Cat. And, uh, you know, Robert Crumb famously is not into the movie, to say the, the least. Uh, right. But wait, when you watch the flick, I feel like it's fairly uh, faithful. So, like, what... Do you have some sense of what his issues were with the animation or whatever? Oh, I, 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 I knew you were going to ask that. Everyone wants to know that, but but you are sensible, so I'll give you the truth. From my point of view, first of all, I don't care what Robert Crumb. First of all, Robert Crumb is a very talented cartoonist. That said, um, I don't care what he thinks. In other words, I took a 25,000 page book that I found in the East Village called Fritz the Cat, which I like, and to sell as the first adult animated feature. In other words, I knew what I was coming out of Paramount. I just finished um, Spider-Man series, but I wanted to go with that. That was, that was something I wanted to do. I wanted to be an adult animation guy, because that would only be the way I could do stuff that I wanted to do, that I loved. But I also knew that motion picture companies needed a property to look at. So if I bought the book and brought it into a meeting and held it up, or had a producer with me, Steve Kranz, by the way, that they didn't care that 25,000. I omitted the fact that only 25,000 issues were sold. I said, I the comic book, I want to make it. Okay. So that's why Heavy Traffic was my second picture. It was too forward thinking, even for me to do it for Fritz, which was still animals and cute, um, and about New York. Um, okay, so uh, Crum had the right to come down and work with me, he refused, which was I was fine with, okay? And he never showed up on production. What were his issues? He made $50,000 from Steve Krantz, which was a ton of money for a starving underground cartoonist for the rights for the first picture. He got $50,000 for the rights for Steve Krantz for the second picture. He got $3 million in profits from the first picture. And yet he bitched at me. But I tell you why he bitched at me is because I don't know what he was thinking about. In film, the director and the writer and the guy has crea created a front on the front the front of the movie. Nobody was hiding Crumb, created by Robert Crumb. Um, but he didn't understand that in the motion picture business, I think this is what he felt. He did not understand in the motion picture business that the director and writer of a movie is the creator, is the big shot. Most directors in the business always got other properties from other co 
uh, whether it's books or plays and to make their movies from. 95% of all those other guys that got those other properties, the guys that got the properties from all hated what the director did with their property because it's not their property. But what I think was, but I can't be right about this, but I'm not that far wrong about it because Crumb, okay, um, maybe he thought, maybe he just got angry at all the publicity I was getting, which surprised me too. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, the picture wasn't bad at the budget. It certainly got the audiences crazy. It certainly made Robert Crumb famous to millions of people that never knew him. I mean, um, the book sales on Fritz the Character that shot up to four or 500,000. The comic book that I bought at 25,000. I did. The family made a fortune. His wife called me many times and thank God bless me for the money that we were sending them. So, you know, Robert Crumb and um, so I really don't care what he thinks. What I'm saying is you ask me what happened. I have no idea except that's the story. You can make your own decisions on why he did that. Um, I happen to think knowing Crumb, and I knew him very well. I hung out with Crumb and all those guys in San Francisco. I mean, Crumb wasn't a stranger to me. Matter of fact, at one point I had every Crumb sketchbook in my house, big drawings that he loaned me uh, that were just beautiful to look at. So I don't know. I think it has to do somewhat with that, his character. What what am I doing cutting in? But he didn't understand the business I was in, which is the feature film business. I think that's basically it. Um, you know, Will Eisner and a lot of cartoonists, even though other guys draw their stuff, still get the credit for what they do. I think it's somewhere in there. Uh, I'm not going to discuss Crumb's film that he did on his own life. Uh, that would be nasty of me, which I dislike tremendously. Um, but that would be the story. I, I don't, I've spoken to Crumb over the years. Sometimes he picks up the phone and talks to me. Sometimes he doesn't want to see me ever again. So, um, But whether he liked it or did, did not like the film, is I could care less. I loved sure. the film, and I loved what it did for animation, and I loved that it got me to heavy traffic. Um, I think if Crumb was nicer to me, I, may, I might have done, um, he never talks about Fritz, the nine lives of Fritz the Cat. He only blames me for, for his Fritz, but the nine lives of Fritz the Cat is unviewable. It's one of the worst animated features I've ever seen. So that's what Crumb would have gotten on his first feature if I wasn't doing it. You know. So, But that's never mentioned. Crumb never mentions heavy traffic, hey, good looking, American pop. Like I never made those films, you know. Um, um, my, you know, the other guy I really wanted to do a movie with. There were two other underground cartoons that Crumb crushed their chances for because I got so depressed. I was depressed at the time, um, and he got so many other cartoonists hating me. Everyone, you know, everyone's jumping on Crumb's bandwagon. All the critics, blah blah blah. Uh, Spain Rodriguez and Vaughn Bodie with the two great cartoonists. And I would have done features with their stuff. As a matter of fact, with Vaughn and I had a script together before he before he died, we were going to do the, the, Amoris, the Amoris Adventures of Puck. He wrote a script. I was going to direct it. He designed the characters, of course. Uh, I returned the script to his son last year because I'm never going to make the film when I was born. It's an hysterical film. Okay, favors like, follow, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the bell. We'll notify you when new vids are available and uh, join the Patreon. King K Fabers, get all the videos before anybody else. They're sitting here in the chat room with us, watching us record these videos in uh, the chat room. Let us know that the Etsy store for Kurt is completely sold out. So it's the King K Fabers who got all the uh, Death of Powers of this print run, but there may be more. Ask Kurt, maybe it'll be nice. Print up another batch. But the vids are brought to you by the books that we make. Jimmy, tell the people what you have. Street Angel, Princess of Poverty is my next book coming out in a couple of months. You can pre-order that now. It collects all the Street Angel comics that were not in Street Angel, Deadliest Girl Alive. So complete your Street Angel collection with Princess of Poverty from Image Comics. My other books that are available, The Plain Janes, Street Angel, Deadliest Girl Alive, and Hulk Grand Design, which is selling fast with that fluorescent green cover. Could be a while before we see a second print, so make sure you scoop that one up sooner rather than later, and join me on patreon.com slash jimrug, where you can download out-of-print zines and minis. You can see a lot more of my comic book art, and you can see the comics that I am making right now. The Hip Hop Family Tree Omnibus is coming to you in 2023. 
504 pages with 140 pages of additional material, art, uh, other stuff that is just not in those first four volumes. Uh, it's going to be the definitive, so scoop it up. Uh, put in your pre-orders now. Uh, as of this recording, you'll get a steep discount on Amazon. We're also starting up the next round of Red Room Comics in May. Order heavy. Red Room Crypto Killers 1 is going to be coming out in May. Banned in 26 countries. Banned in more than 10 comic shops. Several different flavors of cover with this uh, Red Room comic. There's Jimmy, Peach, me, and uh, the sketch cover. There are two volumes of Hip-Hop Family Tree... No, there are two volumes of Red Room trade paperbacks that are out there right now. Four volumes of Hip-Hop Family Tree. Three volumes of X-Men Grand Design. And WYSIWYG is out there if you look hard enough. What else do we have going on, Jimmy? Subscribe to the Cartoonist Kayfabe newsletter at the links below this video. You can also find Cartoonist Kayfabe t-shirts, merchandise, hats, coffee mugs, stickers, and lots more at our spread shop. That link is also under this video. Another great way to support the Cartoonist Kayfabe a YouTube channel. Give them those marching orders, Jimmy. We'll be on our way. Make more comics.